going on guys? Welcome back to Random Garage. So the other day I put on this uh, tunnel cover from Away Room, something like that. Um, and it's uh, overall decent quality, but there are some things I really dislike about it. So I'm going to pull it off, but before I do that, I'm going to show you guys what I dislike about it. Uh, so we got a few parts for the GTA in here, but this is more of a uni universal fit, so I don't know how well you can see that the clamps under here, but they just grab onto the bed rails. Uh, once you get them undone, work. It's a quad fold. They're finicky. They're very frustrating. Um, so, let's fold up nice. Those are supposed to uh, should fold down in a nice manner, but they really don't. That was the first time it's actually done decent. Uh, what happens is uh, the clamps will turn and go vertical, so you can't actually close this, and you have to bounce back and forth. So. And undo it, you gotta walk back and forth. To replace it, we went with the undercover flex hard cover. Um, so it's hard plastic, it folds all the way up to the cab as well. That's one thing I didn't like about the Allegro or whatever, uh, is you got the last foot or so that it's seat on the bed and you lost bed space. This is almost a thousand dollars. I've read uh, complaints about the packing methods, and uh, looking at it, I understand the complaints. It's pretty kind of cheap packing for you know really what this is. Uh, luckily, it looks like ours is ours is fine. So no concerns here. But would like to see the packing just a little bit nicer. All right, guys. So just taking a closer look here, we do have the uh, the bulkhead seal on here. Just uh, a foam. The adhesive on here is very, very poor. So be careful when you put it on. Just make sure it's lined up, and then it should pressure fit once you get the uh, the actual cover on. Uh, the directions are decent. Uh, here are the clamps that we're going to use. And if you look on the uh, the rails themselves, they tell you where to clamp. So this is the um, the way they work is there's a drain that faces or that goes all the way up there and then there is a shock to keep that uh, I think it's a shock I think that keeps the uh, the cover open or up or maybe it's not a shock I thought it was a shock uh, I think you can put it up and then use these to hold it up so uh, that's uh that's what we got here you're gonna need to line these up and uh, put the clamps on and we should be good to put the cover on. So I'm gonna put you guys back on the, the tripod here. I'm gonna get these installed and uh, we'll see how easy the installation is. Uh, I will note I have a, a half inch uh, socket here on my Milwaukee uh, half inch or three eighths inch uh, battery operated ratchet here just to make things a little easier, but that's literally all you need.
All right, cover is installed. Um, if I'm being brutally honest, if I'm being brutally honest, I'm pretty uh, disappointed in the quality control on this thing. I spent a thousand bucks on a cover, and uh, you see all this stuff that just looks like dust. You know, some of it is, but up here we've got a lot of uh, aluminum metal shavings from drilling these holes. Um, you know, that's kind of annoying. You'd think they'd clean that up. The installation process, uh, the instructions are okay, but you need to make sure that you're installing these rails at the very least. I'll show you how it operates. You just pull this and it unlocks both sides, which I really, really do like. At the very least, the rail's gotta look something like that or else you can't close the tailgate. Um, on other vehicle, on other makes, it's a little easier to close the tailgate. So I got this all put on, tried to close the tailgate and I couldn't, so I had to take it all apart. and. Uh, reinstall it i think on it looks super nice um i'm stepping on stuff here but i like how it looks uh some of that rubber needs to kind of settle down um super easy to undo as i just showed you just pull that and we're loose uh same thing here just pull that and lift it's very light and of course, on the last one, you do the same thing. So it's hard to show with one hand, but that's that's how the post works. And you still have room where you could open your uh, your back window and get some airflow. So that's nice. You do end up losing. Now well, it's kind of hard to tell. The the bed ends right about here, so you lose what four or five inches of your bed, which is uh, uh, about the best on the market for a folding hard top tunnel cover, as far as I can tell. Um, one thing that really bothers me is these seals because each of these panels is independent so they can move back and forth um let's try to put this put it down all right i had to take a slight pause because the clamps that they use on the system uh hopefully you can see there they're just awful they're they're pressure fit so they kind of hook onto the rails but then they only pressure fit to the end of the, the or to the the bottom of the rails on the bed itself so i've seen a lot of complaints about these i read them thinking oh how bad could it be it's pretty bad. Um, they're just not very good clamps for this purpose, but once you get them snug and tight, they do seem to work. Um, one other thing I'm noticing here is that this thing's gonna eat up the seal quite a bit. I'm curious to see how that lasts over time, but that's a warranty thing. That'll be something that the company will have to address if it, if it breaks. So um, what I was doing was taking this off and I was gonna show you the uh, frustrations that I have with the seal. I'm gonna bring this down. So that seal lines up pretty well. I've had to do some playing back and forth, but you can kind of see, try to give you an idea. The seal kind of has to fit in this groove. Bring this one down. Let's see if the seal fits in the groove. So maybe it just needed some adjustment. Um, that just seem to be fitting okay now. But, uh, there it is. So the seals aren't the best. Um, I think some of the quality control could probably improve. I like the fit and finish overall. I am a little curious to see long term kind of what happens here. We'll see. I think it looks good. Um, yeah, maybe I have some adjustments to do yet, but I think it's overall a, a decent looking kit that could use a little bit better quality control. All right. One thing to look out for is I think this is what's causing my, my bushing issue is make sure you have proper spacing here. You can see where that one's at. This one's got a little more spacing. So the whole thing can kind of shift this way. Uh, and each panel is allowed to do that. So it's just going to be a lineup type thing that you have to do. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. One thing I don't totally understand is that there are clips back here. So maybe if the rod fails, there's clips here to hold this vertical. I, I don't totally understand that. Kind of seems like a, a wasted thing. And these are kind of annoying to put in. All right, so earlier in the video, I mentioned I don't know why they have these clips here and I thought they were kind of silly. Um, <laughs> I probably could have read the directions. Um, probably says something about this, but the clips are here so you can have it in this down position. 
say you don't want to have it all the way up against the window, you want to keep your rear window access or something, or you just don't need it all the way up. Clips go here so it actually stays down and doesn't flip up in the wind. Um, I don't know if it would flip up in the wind, but those are actually very nice to have. So I take back what I said on those. those uh, they make a lot of sense in my opinion. All right guys, so I pulled a, pulled a half into the garage here because it's raining a little bit, but I wanted to show you guys really how this thing works. I spent maybe another hour just kind of lining things up and uh, really making it work well. And as you can see here, it sits flush now. It sits really nice and it does work well now. Um, overall, I do like the cover. It's just a lot more adjustable than I anticipated. I will show you how this thing works. So there's a, a little pole wire here that hopefully you can see. And they have that on every panel. So you just pull it, hold it. These are super light. And uh, bring it all the way here. And that's where you can bring this post out. It's in it kind of tight now, but I got a post on each side. And it works just like that. Super easy. There it is. Uh, overall, I, I do like the quality. I'll show you guys putting it down now as well once I got it adjusted. Um, this thing just, it's really all it takes to clamp those things in. You don't even need to push if you have it aligned properly. In. And of course, my tailgate shuts fine. I have the old uh, tunnel cover here, so I can't shut it right now. But uh, shuts fine. It looks really nice. Uh, I like it. No clearance issues and whatnot. Nothing like that. Uh, didn't leak today outside of these uh, end cap holes here that I've seen fill. Um, but overall, I think the cover it's really nice. You just need to really make sure you just line up the panels with the, uh, the guide rails here. So. Uh, this is uh this is it. This is the uh, you can see it's an undercover flex, uh, hard folding cover. This pry fold folds all the way up to the cap, and uh, I think it's a real nice cover. Uh, there are some quality control issues that I ran into, just like uh, aluminum shavings. I got one stuck in my hand. They, they, I feel like they could have deeper things a little bit better. Um, but overall, pretty nice cover. A lot nicer than the other one that I have for three hundred dollars. Um, just to put it in a little perspective, three times more, but uh, I would say three times available and three times nicer cover. And it's hard, nobody's gonna break in. Um, so that's kind of that. I do like it. If you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know. The clamps really do suck on this thing, but uh, once you get them, let's get them on there and set it, it works out pretty well. So uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, if you guys have any questions on this cover, be sure to ask, and uh, I'll try to answer your questions as well as I can. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.